So in the spring of 2000, I started skating on the west side a lot and made friends with uh, Robbie McKinley, Cameron Postroosh, Tim Bruns, Dan Rhodes, Chris Casey, and a bunch of other hot rod people that you've never heard of. And it was pretty cool. It was like my first legit LA shop sponsor. They just had an industry section and a four on one and I thought I was pretty hot shit because I could skate with a dude that rode for girl. Uh, and that's how I met Shad Lambert. So because I was rolling with a hot shit crew, I thought I was hot shit and I was throwing out claimers left and right. And I guess I must have told Shad that I could backtail this ledge uh, that I'd only seen in a video. And I was like, oh yeah, I could definitely backtail that thing. The ledge itself was about 15 feet long, a uh, foot and a half high, eight inches at its very widest on top and dropped off about six and a half feet into a driveway that went into a garage underground. Huge drop. You need a lot of speed. And I was like, yeah, definitely. I can backtail this thing. And Shad believed me. So he picks me up from my place in Highland Park at an hour on a Saturday night where I was usually drinking vodka Red Bull on my couch. And um, of all people in the car is Travis McLaughlin, who was this amazing skateboarder from Colorado Springs that had like a crazy switch backside kickflip. He was my hero in like 1994, and all of a sudden this dude's driving me to this spot. Um, that was intimidating enough. I was also dressed like a complete dipshit. Um, bright yellow hot rod t-shirt, giant polo jeans that I'd bought from Ross Dress for Less, and the Action Aries shoe. Baby blue shoes, yellow shirt, light blue denim, flow shop, trash amateur outfit. And I get to the ledge and I'd never skated this thing before and there's no way in hell I'm gonna backtail this thing. But I did give it a couple tries and my feet kept stopping or I couldn't get up and I wasn't going fast enough. And this was actually humiliating because not only is like Shad, a pretty legit photographer, but it's Travis McLaughlin watching me struggle on this thing. And so to kind of like grab the turd that is this photo from flushing down the toilet, I was like, I guess I'll crooked grind it. Even though I knew that Chris Roberts had already crooked grinded it. And it's not like I had any like ambitions to be pro or even legitimately sponsored, but I did feel bad that like Shad had picked me up and I felt deeply humiliated that Travis McLaughlin was watching me just like flail on this ledge in the warm Angelino night in giant Ross bought polo jeans. Um, and I wasn't coming close to landing this crooked grind, dude. And it's unethical, but I never landed that crooked grind. It was a bail shot. So it might seem unethical that I ran a photo of a bailed shot that was ABD by Chris Roberts, but I know something else. Chris didn't land his either. <laughs>